Achievers, welcome back to Keto Du Jour. In today's conversational topic, cooking topic, well, let's hop off into it. Everyday Ketogenics is where my recipe is going to be coming out of. And for y'all that have that book, it's going to be page 240. And this will be pan seared chicken thighs with creamy rosemary mushroom. I just want to let y'all guys know that I'm not going to be using chicken thighs. I'm going to be using skinless chicken breast because that's the wife's preference. Either way, I'm going to go over how I do both. All right, so for nutritional information, it's 405 calories, 34.8 grams of the fat, 20.7 grams of the protein. Carbs is 4.9 and fiber is a 1.2. Uh, the fat and the protein have a pretty good balance. So you're going to need four bone-in skin on chicken thighs, salt and pepper, two tablespoons of avocado oil, and this is for the creamy mushroom sauce next. It's two tablespoons of salted butter, eight ounces of your sliced mushrooms of your preference, two tablespoons of chopped fresh rosemary, two cloves of garlic that's minced. Uh, you could even buy the already uh, minced up garlic in the jar, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of the black pepper, and a quarter cup of the heavy whipping cream. I'm going to go ahead and move on and just let y'all guys know that this recipe yields four servings. Prep time is going to be about 10 minutes and you need to allow about up to 30 minutes for cooking time. Okay, so you're going to need to, and this is for the bone in chicken thighs, you're going to need to preheat the oven to 375. You need to pat dry the chicken thighs and then season liberally with salt and pepper. In a large skillet over medium heat, heat the oil until shimmering. Add the chicken, skin side down, cook for five to seven minutes until the skin is golden and crisp. Flip over and cook for another four minutes. Transfer the chicken to a baking dish and place in oven. You will need to bake this for 15 minutes or until the internal temperature is 165 degrees Fahrenheit. While the chicken is baking, this would be the perfect time to start prepping for the mushrooms. Melt the butter in a hot skillet. Add the mushrooms and saute until golden brown. This will take five minutes. Add the rosemary, garlic, salt, and pepper and cook for one more minute. Stir in the cream and simmer until thickened. You are looking for viscosity. Add the chicken and accumulated juices back into the pan. Spoon the mushrooms sauce over the thighs as you serve them. I'm going to do every single bit of that except I am not cooking thighs. So in a skillet on my stove you will see I will put about two tablespoons of grass-fed butter into a skillet and I am going to cook my chicken on both sides for at least up to 10 minutes and then I will finish it off in the stove. Let's get started. During this process I'm going to use my favorite Krylon pan. Here is the chicken I will be using for my dinner tonight. All right guys, I always give my chicken a once-over before I add it to the skillet because you may come across unwanted fat like what you see right here. Gives you time to trim. Now everything has been trimmed and we have these beautiful breast meats, skinless breast meats, I am going to salt and pepper. Once you have reached your perfect blend of salt and pepper that has been distributed upon the chicken, please start melting two tablespoons of grass-fed butter or, or your butter of choosing if you're doing chicken breast. All right, guys, this is a good time to add in your chicken. Perfect. All right, guys been about seven minutes I'm gonna flip this chicken I believe it has a nice patina yep put a nice little crust on the underneath side oh yeah that looks nice 
All right, guys, just took these off and they're going in the oven, 375 for 10 minutes. All right, so while that is finishing up in the oven, we're gonna melt some butter in a hot skillet, which I have. I'm gonna add the mushrooms. Let me show you. Here's some mushrooms. I'm gonna saute these mushrooms up until they're golden brown. It'll take about five minutes. And then I'm gonna add the rosemary, the rosemary from my garden, and then the garlic, salt and pepper, and then I'm gonna cook it all for about one minute. All right, so I'm gonna only add one because I figured that there's about one tablespoon already in there. All right, I just added my mushrooms. So I'll see you in about five minutes. Hey guys, so throughout any one of my recipes that I post onto this channel, you can change that recipe if you don't like something within it. And that's what is so awesome about all these keto cookbooks is they're not super complicated. And kind of like what I did here, I didn't want chicken thighs because I knew that my wife wouldn't like them, so I added chicken breast. And if you don't like a spice, substitute it for another spice. Play with it. That's what cooking's all about. And these guys are browning up just fine. All right, it's time to chop up two tablespoons of rosemary. There we go. All right, guys, I just added the rosemary and the salt and the pepper. And that would be two tablespoons of rosemary, two cloves of minced uh, garlic, and a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. All right, guys, I am about to add my quarter cup of heavy whipping cream. And I'm just going to stir this in. And then I'm gonna let it thicken up. All right, guys, the mushroom sauce is done. And like I said, uh, just moments ago, how you could change up the ingredients at the last minute. Well, I am sauteing up some yellow onions. And once these are sauteed up, I'm gonna scoop them out of that grass-fed butter I have them sauteed up in, and I'll add it to this. But not the extra butter. I don't wanna throw the flavor off with butter. So I just pulled the chicken out, and it is good to go. I went ahead and took two of the breast meats, and I transferred them into my mix. And this is where it will stay and keep warm until my wife gets home. And I'll just give it a couple of nice flips. Nothing wrong with that. Letting the flavors commingle. Oh, that's just beautiful. And that's gonna be a fine addition. All right, guys. Well, like I always do, I'm gonna give you this free recipe. So get ready for the screenshot. Let me know if you didn't get that down in the comment section. And if you're new, please subscribe and turn on your notification icons. And to all of my subscribers that are watching this, I appreciate the views and welcome back. All right, guys, until next time, thank you for watching Keto Du Jour. And stay hungry, my friends.